Hi there, this is my Humanity Engagement 3, and I chose option 4, where I recreate a famous painting. So the painting I chose is this painting of Christ. And um, the first detail I'm going to go over, I, ch I chose to change, was the background. Um, in the background, I've noticed that there are these buildings, and it almost looks like a town sort of scene behind Christ. And it looks very... Um, uh, Middle Eastern or even Byzantine or the time period this painting was made and I decided I wanted to make my version of this painting a Latin America themed one because I love Latin America and um, so I decided to change the buildings from Middle Eastern looking to Latin American looking oops that's not what I wanted to do um, and I and how I accomplished that was I changed as you can see I put in a church, or at least I tried to draw my best, uh, a Latin American church, because there's a lot of Catholic influence in Latin America. Um, and then I I tried making a house with like sheet metal sort of stuff, because that's very common in the, the excuse me, in the developing world and in Latin America. And then on the far left, I chose to make a building that's, that's half, I don't say half under construction, but like that's not completely finished because many times that's the case in developing countries. There's like half finished construction projects. I decided to use these details um, to create the, the perception that Jesus is walking through a Latin American uh, town or cityscape or he's walking down a street preaching or telling people about the good news of Christ. Uh, well, the good news of himself, the good news of his father excuse me, is doing. Uh, the second detail I want to go over is the halo. Um, I kept the overall, the overall, well, the, well, I kept the overall Christ subject matter in my version, but the halo, I did make some changes. I kept the overall physique of it, and I kept the cross and the significance of that, but what I decided to do was I, in the spaces between the cross, the cross pieces, if you will, I added flags of Latin American countries. I thought that would be a really cool artistic way of showing how Christ is, well, he's for everyone, but um, in this particular instance, he's for the Latin American world. He's for the developing world. He's for Latin America. And um, I think, I, and I love flags. Um, <laughs> so that's a little bit of a nerd thing for me, but I, I thought that would be a really cool, um, really cool way of expressing that. And my third detail I, ch I chose to change was the sky. In the original painting, there seems to be a starry night sort of scene, or like um, maybe night, or maybe it's referencing the night Jesus was born, like maybe this is like the star of Bethlehem. Well, instead of a star or a night scene, I chose to add some hills, some trees that are very common in Latin America, the sun, and some clouds. And um, I chose to do this be because I've had the privilege of traveling to Latin America. And in fact, I'm actually moving to Latin America. And I and I remember seeing these beautiful hills. Um, I went to the Dominican Republic and there were the beautiful hills. And um, I just was inspired by that. So I decided to put that into my version of the background. And um, the fourth um, detail I want to go over is the Bible, um, Christ's Bible in the words. I'll start with the Bible. In the original painting, the Bible doesn't have any words, and it's a little there's a little bit more detail. For me, I didn't add that many words. Um, well, excuse me, I didn't that that many details. I just added the cross and the little circles, and I added the the word Santa Biblia, meaning Holy Bible. Um, and then at the top, I added total. Um, excuse me, Buenos. Novias por todas las personas, meaning good news for all people, and that's a reference to the gospel, and obviously what Christ has come to do to save everyone from their sin, and uh, well, the gospel is his good news, so I thought that was a cool, um, I, I decided to add that, because I love mission stuff, and, um, and yeah, I, overall, the subject matter of Jesus is the same, um, as you can see, the details I, I changed, and I Put into my painting are the criticism or my drawing is the criticism i decided to use and to do to yeah to make 
this a new version of this amazing piece of art um and i think it turned out pretty good i think the content i came up with turned out pretty good and um these are the vocab words i used in this recording uh, just for your reference thank you so much